Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim, and welcome to Valguero. Valguero. Valguero? I don't know, I can't pronounce that yet. Okay, first off we've got the Ice Waving Trench. You see the green art obelisk over there, we're in the top right hand corner of the map. And we are at 09.390. See there, northeast. There's like a little mountain just there on the right hand side. If you're flying past along the, the edge of the map, you don't really see the trench behind it, so you can easily miss it. But I just had a quick fly down just to see if there's any like cave systems down there or you know anything new. And there was just, just a big lava cave. Lighting down here is cool, looks really good. So you've got bugs and stuff at the start, and there's some creatures around. And then I saw that blue glowing effect there and I thought maybe it's a, an entrance to Aberration or there was something else down there. And nope, didn't find anything, didn't find any other like cave systems leading off this or anything. And then it's just like totally devoid of life. But there is the, the little alcoves, you know, for the fire waverings to lay their eggs. So I was wondering if at one point they had, they had the waverings down here. But if you think about it, if you're flying through here and you wanted to try and grab an egg, there's literally nowhere you couldn't be aggroed from. And then once you're aggroed, there's no way out. There's like no escape. <laughs> uh, this was like a, a central room, just further around. And I just thought there might have been like an artifact down here, or maybe it was a entrance to a boss fight or something. So I threw some night vision goggles on and just had a really good look around, but I couldn't find anything. I don't know if anybody else has found out down there, but I would I'd like to know if you have. And then the whole system just goes right back down to the start. A few bugs, a couple of note ropes there, just chilling out, warming up on the lava. Yeah, so you've basically gone underneath the mountain, right the way around, back to the other end of the, the, the other end of the trench. That cave just went back down into the where we've just come from. And there we have it. That's not like a hidden place or anything, but cool to find. Uh, what are we at? 0970 is the other end of the trench. Right, next place, 3292. This is the entrance to Aberration. This is the lake entrance. So you're just down the right hand side of the map from the snow biome. And again, it's like just off the beaten track at the back. But it should be easy enough to find. There's a waterfall going into it. That mountain there has got a big ruin on top of it. So if you come down the waterfalls from that, you should get here, no problem. I probably wouldn't suggest trying this unless you've got a flyer. You could take like climbing equipment and stuff and maybe, um, what are they called? The grappling hooks and things, but it's just, once you're down here, you're pretty much stuck down here, unless you're planning on living down here. There's a few of these like little drop-offs into these ponds. But I'm not going to go right through the place, I'll just let you do your own exploring. This is a bit of a leap of faith, this last one. Yeah, and from here on out, it, you, you're going to need a dinosaur or something that can climb or a flyer to get down there. But look at that, it just looks beautiful once you're down there. Yeah, it's pretty much a small representation of um, aberration. But it's cool to have it, you know, different resources and things. Once you're down here, if you get to the 5009611, that's the entrance to the sort of irradiated trench, I suppose you can call it. Didn't find much down here. There was a couple of supply drops, uh, supply crates and things. Right, if you come back to where you, you went from the um, lake entrance, I'll show you with the other entrances. Just go down the right hand side of the map. And right in the top corner, top right hand corner, there's another tunnel entrance. And this is just a one way system, but you can get dinosaurs down there that can walk. There's like no major drop offs or any tunnels you can't fit through or anything. And then this is where it comes out. 
Or you can you can enter this way as well. Right next to the sea, and you're at thirty-eight fifty-seven point five. I suppose it's a, a big lake. There you go. I was thinking if you're on a PvP map, only having them two entrances to get down there. I know they've probably got like an exclusion zone around them. You know where you can't build, it'll just show up red on your, your building structures. But still, I can imagine that being a pain in the ass. But it'd be good for like a mega tribe. Put a load of defenses and dinosaurs around the entrances and have your whole base down there. And there we go. That is two entrances for Aberration and the Ice Weaving Trench. Right, thanks for watching guys. Uh, check out the rest of the channel if you get a chance. And thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing and commenting. And I will catch you later.